Okay then, so we've seen how to make layers and put our styles inside different layers in order of priority in a style sheet. Now I want to talk about how we can import CSS files directly into layers. So it might be for this project that you're working on, the styles are split up into several different files. So we have a components file for styling different UI components like buttons and cards. We have a content file for styling the typography, the links, and other content like images. We have a layout file for all the layout styles, a reset file full of reset styles. We've got a theme file for all those theme variables. And then we've got a utils file for all the utility classes. So each style sheet then could be imported into this main.css file so that we can just load this one main style sheet into the HTML documents. And the way we import CSS files is just by saying at import and then the path name of the file so in this case, reset.css, for example. And we do that for each style sheet. But if we just import them like this, it would be the same as if we're just writing them all out in order in this main file. And there'd be no layers. There'd just be a mix of all of these different CSS selectors in this kind of global scope, right? Ideally, we'd want to put each import into its own layer. And we can do. So we've already defined the layers and the order of the layers up at the top of the file. And now we can just tack on the layer rule after the imports themselves to apply the import to a specific layer in parentheses. So let's do this for all the different CSS files that we've got now. All right then, so I'm just gonna duplicate this a few times and we'll change this one right here to theme, not in capitals, theme. And we'll change this to theme as well. We'll do the same down here. This one's gonna be layout. This one's going to be layout. And by the way, they don't have to be in order right here because we've already detected the order right up here. It could be jumbled up here, but I'm going to keep them in the same order so it's easy to look at. All right, so content right here and then content right here. The next one is components, so components and components. And then reset. Oops, not reset. It should be utility and utility. This is actually called utils. Should have kept it the same name really. Anyway, now we have all of our different imported CSS files being applied to a specific layer. And that is the same now as writing all the layers down here, like layer reset, and then putting the code in here. It does the same thing. We're just importing from other files now. All right. And we can see now in the browser, everything looks good as it should do. It's all styled correctly. So what I'm going to do just to show you that this is still working is I'm going to rearrange this. I'm going to take components where we have the button class and I'm going to place it up here somewhere. So let's cut that and let's place it before theme after reset like so. And now we can see the styles have changed. So the button up here isn't working. This doesn't look good, etc. All right. So this is working. We've verified that by changing the order of these. So ideally, we want to keep this in the right order. So let's grab that and paste it over here again. So then we can also import third party libraries into layers within our style sheet as well. For example, we might be using the Bulma CSS library in our project, but if we just link to it from our HTML file, then it might cause conflicts with some of our styles. Instead, we could import the Bulma CSS file into the main style sheet and apply a layer to it. So first up, we define the Bulma layer in the position within the stack that we want to use it. Now, with a library like Bulma, which contains utility classes, layout classes, typography classes, etc., the position of the layer is a bit less obvious. It could probably go somewhere in the middle after the reset and theme, but maybe before the rest. That way, our own custom layout content and utility classes get priority over the Bulma ones. But like I said, it's not so obvious and it might be you want to place it somewhere else. But anyway, now we've defined its position, we can import the Bulma file using at import and then we just paste in the file path or URL to this import. And then we can apply a layer to it by saying at layer. And then inside parentheses, whatever the layer was called, in our case, Bulma. And now this third party library has its own layer within our style sheet, which is awesome. So there we go, my friends. Hopefully that gives you a head start when it comes to working with cascade layers in CSS. <laughs>